it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live on a Friday, May 17th. S&P down four, NASDAQ down 60, Russell down three and a half, Dow up 40, gold up one and a half percent, silver is up 6%, uh, notes and bonds slightly red, 10-year yield up 1%, oil up 1%, natural gas up five and a half, uh, soybeans up a little bit, wheat down, corn down, euro in the pound, barely green, Bitcoin up a couple percent. VIX flirting with 12, 12.09, down a little over two and a half percent today. I uh, let's see. So today I took two different uh, price action iron condor trades, both hit 20 and 40 percent before getting stopped on that flush. Uh, my bots are still not functioning in one of my accounts. So I was, so I didn't do any quiet tranches. Uh, just the uh, just those two price action trades, and then nothing else qualified at the AM at the open, and so I've just been keeping it light. Been on the phone with Schwab for about half the day. I feel like trying to get that all worked out. I will be entering a bunch of calendars here a little bit later, uh, and then I did put on my Power Hour Quad Forty which is this one here. So it's up a little bit. Uh, these tend to work anecdotally, typically, and I've done some testing around it, but they typically work very well on Friday using the, uh, the Monday options. So hopefully price just kind of hangs out. We can book some profits there. Chadwick, what's going on with you? It's been a pretty good day. Um, my TLC trades, my number, my first one was 20, 40, 60%. And then my last contract, I had one contract left that was stopped. So that was a 1945 winner, almost 2000 um, bucks. Let's see, my number two hit uh, 20, 40, 60 and stopped as one. Let's see, did it hit? No, 2040 and then stopped. Did not hit 60. So 40% and out. So that was 1545. And then I'm in a power hour number one that I put on uh, about 135. It was 15 wide. And I've gotten out of 20% of that. So going to be green today in that account. And my 15 other one wide? Uh, was it 15 or 10? look surely not 15 it was the nope 10 my bad 5285s 5295s 50, uh, 95 calls 85 puts yeah so 10 wide my bad um and then in my second account i had the same thing with t two tlc trades a 20 40 60 a 20 and a 40 and i closed my one dte at 50 percent profit so that was a big winner but I did 10 contracts on it. So I was nice. very happy with, with the theta decay on that. So, yep. So all I have left on is uh, the one power hour trade. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll consider getting in a straddle here. It looks like we might start consolidating. VIX continuing to fall. Searching. <laughs> Seeking that 11 handle. Yuck. 
How did, uh, how was power hour yesterday? I was dealing with, um, I was dealing with Schwab and one of my, my one count. It took him probably a good two hours or more, um, to fix my account. What were they, what uh, were they fixing? Well, the day before I had, I had a $7,000, um, well, it would have been, it would have been about a $3,000 slip. Um, and then yesterday was about a $2,000 slip. So about five grand in slippage on two trades. One was at the end of the day yesterday. And one was, uh, was my first trade from yesterday. So, and, and how much did they credit you back? So I got about three of the 5,000 back. Okay. I've, uh, I thought I was dealing with that today. I haven't still haven't heard back. On if they're going to do anything. Yeah. I just got stopped on my power hour after 20%. Let's push up. Uh, so, yeah. So um, they told me going forward, when this happens, to contact them within three minutes of the slippage happening. Three minutes. Yep. That's what they said. So if they, and I was really happy, like, I couldn't even trade. Like, I don't know if you saw the pictures I posted, but it was like, this account has no buying power. There was a message that said it's under a maintenance call or something. Like I couldn't even operate my think or swim <laughs> until they, and I could see things happening. Like somebody was like, had a hold of my computer. Wow. Like all, yeah. all of a sudden I had two shorts from the day before on, even though they were already expired. Whoa. Um, yeah, I mean they were they were go going in there and changing stuff, and then all of a sudden, oh, seven dollar seven oh seven stop instead of ten ten. So I saw the ten ten disappear and the seven seven oh seven appeared. Huh. So yeah, it was quite the experience, but I was happy that they went in and did that. And you know, going forward, if they say if they. Like the guy that I was chatting with said, just report it within three minutes of it happening if you have a really bad slippage. So, I mean, that gave me some, uh, I don't know, confidence that I may not have to deal with you know big slippage in the future if they're going to fix oh, that's it. That's a lot better than my conversation. I, I, I'm, uh, I might get responded to within uh, one to two business days. No way. Yeah. Wow. And I was on hold for. Oh, oh I wasn't, I, it was, this was all done through the chat. Well, this I did that too. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, yeah. I was on the, I was on the phone with one guy and I was on the chat with another. Wow. I guess I should feel fortunate that mine went so smooth. Ooh, look at that VIX cracking 12. Well, we're going to guess push to new all time highs today. We're only 30 points away. Why not? 28. Yeah, not a good push up there for a power hour. Glad I got out of 20%. That was a $475 winner. Quad 40 still under, still in between the strikes.
Yeah, so no Wooger for me today. Yeah, I don't think it qualified. I didn't even check because the premiums looked too low earlier. I think there's some people in Woo in some. Anybody in Wooga? Okay. I I heard some. I saw somebody said that they're bot fired. All righty. I stand corrected. I mean, I mean, I think this market will come back down. Honestly, it's it's been on the weak side all day, in terms of. Every time it's tried to come up, it's been forced right back down. And then it's it went through lows of day twice. Well, three times, three times. Right at um, 1145 Central, 1255 Central, or one o'clock. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, not, not one, but 110 Central. And then at 120 Central. So I would be surprised if this went above 5,300. A lot of woo is going on. I feel left out. Now my power hour trade got stopped. So I'm not in anything. Need to get back up to fifty three hundred. <clears throat> Man, what a good week! I had one losing trade. Wow, that is good. on On Wednesday was a full loss. That full loss on Wednesday. Other than that, that's it. Pretty solid. Seventeen and one, if I counted that right. Oh, really? I can get in a Wooga now? Man. Well, yeah, you could. Three seventy, that's it. Can't get it for four. I might get in a fifty three hundred straddle. Fifty three hundred straddle. Build at six eighty five. AM Iron Condors this week, <clears throat> nine and one. So that one loss is on your AMs. Mm -hmm. All others winners. Looks like you haven't been trading too many midday ones. No, um, one, one and O. Oh. Yeah, one and O oh for lunchtime. Huh. Well, only one. And that's because, I mean, here's why, which... It's great if I think that's good if you can avoid the lunchtime because you have the sometimes you have midday movement. But because my AMs were so successful, I had I had pretty much had two AMs on every day. The one time I did a lunchtime, my AM number one was a full loss, so it was closed. So I did an AM two. It was a scratch trade, twenty five bucks, and then so I'm guessing I put that lunchtime on when my number two got off center. And and probably did sixty percent out on that one. Power hour. Seven and oh. Nice.
Yes, 17 and one. <clears throat> Yeah, so I don't know. I'm you know, get in. I may not get in another trade. I, mean, I don't have one on. I could do the fifty three hundred straddle that you're in. I don't really like these big moves though. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of playing it from a perspective of chopping around and kind of 5,300 looking like a magnet has been all mm -hmm. day. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go in. But I'm going to reduce my size. Let's see where it's at. Okay. So I'm going to go in with six contracts instead of 10. Right, filled at six ninety. Six ninety. Yep. Oh. I get in at six eighty five. Yeah, so just went in a little bit smaller. That's the first time I've went in smaller during Power Hour in a long time. Heading to Arkansas after the bell. All right. Baseball, Baseball turning. We're off this weekend. Stone has speed training at four o'clock today. So I got to get out of here after this and go pick him up. Get him to that. I think we're going to hit one of the uh, Royals games this weekend with the 2014 celebration of the World Series. Oh, nice. I got you, Discount. I will. I'll look her up. VIX plummeting on that bounce. <laughs> wow. How low can she go? You were asking yesterday. Can't go much lower, right? Yeah. Just did. Just did it. Hey, what? Well, I've had some good 1DTEs this week. Still not quite down to the December lows of 1181, but. She's looking like she wants to get there. Yeah, you got it, Suresh. 3.52 is the time. I haven't seen VIX go below zero. I've seen oil go below zero. <laughs> yeah. I remember we were in, uh, gosh, when that happened. Vegas. Were we coming back from Vegas or New York? Oh. I think it was New oh. York. Well, okay. Because it was right around COVID, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was New York. Coming back from the Traders Expo there. I mean, if VIX goes below zero, that means the markets don't exist. That means there's negative movement in SPX. I'm not sure that's possible. Uh, 
I'm definitely going to be out of my straddle before 245 Central. Oh, I caught the humor, White Tiger. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, the quad, the quad 40 could use a little move lower. Power hour straddle. Let's see, my first profit target is. Five fifty, yeah, I'm still a ways away. Still a buck away. I didn't, yeah, I didn't think it was possible for oil to go negative either. Either did TD Ameritrade. <laughs> yeah, they just closed out our positions. Remember, I took a big loss that day. They're like, whoa, we don't, we don't have that built into our technology. Let's see, 5,300 at the money butterflies. Trading for a buck 40 ish. I got in, I got, uh, I got to my computer with about 10 minutes before the bell and I put on a uh, end of day butterfly from a Mahomes, <clears throat> Mahomes trade. And I got, I think I got like with 10 minutes ago, I think I got, no, it was about seven minutes ago, but I got filled at like 235 or something and then vertical it off. Yeah, I'm still a buck away. No, I'm uh, uh, 60 cents away from 20%. All right, time for uh, calendar spread number one. Looking at my 5.7 and 6.7. We got anybody in here new to the group? Anybody new this week? If you're new, post a hello. Scott B, second week, all right. Scott B, you're like a old school veteran now. How's it going? You getting things starting to come together a little bit? You have D, second week, that's right. Things starting to make sense. Uh, session, no. No. I used to trade double calendars. But uh, I've pretty much limited my... Uh, if somebody asked me that, what, it wasn't too long ago. <laughs> but uh, what, I have, what I have appreciated... Or what I like, what I found that I really, really like is not carrying anything overnight. So, you know, I I do the one DTE, I do the zero DTE, I do the mighty 90 and runners. And at the end of the day, 
I don't carry anything overnight, so I don't ever even have to worry about it. I, I prefer waking up in cold sweats in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, you know, especially with the way the world is today. I mean, it's, it makes you feel alive, Chad. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, I sleep real good at night nowadays. <laughs> and uh, Obviously, you know, kidding I'm for anyone new and doesn't understand my sarcasm. It's It's really been really nice just to be able to know where I'm at at three o'clock central and then be able to go pick up my boys and do whatever we got at night and not have to worry about what the market's doing. You know, trading three different strategies I feel has worked well for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I'll tell you that there's, there's definitely, I mean, there's something, there's something to the overnight thing too, but there's definitely something to just focusing on a couple, one or two strategies. You know, I mean, I, even I, sometimes think should i really be trading everything i'm trading or should i really just focus on something else right um i mean my personality is i i like to trade a lot of different things and so what i find myself doing is cutting strategies out and then eventually they kind of build back in and then i have to cut some out and it's kind of a, a never-ending process of doing that but yeah, you absolutely certainly do not need to trade a ton of different things like I do. Yeah, you know, I look back at uh, you know, like when we were, when we were when the oil went back to, went to negative, and we were, you know, that was at two thousand twenty. Like I, I would have fifteen different trades on at a time. You know, a lot of as I look did a back. lot of ducks. Yeah, a lot of iron ducks. Um, calendars what else were we doing just regular iron condors um strangles strangles i mean it was a lot and i wasn't near as experienced so i look back on that and kind of laugh like i can't believe i was trading that many trades every day And, you know, I mean, of course, part of the reason that I do is because I, you know, I want to, I want to trade examples for people, you know, because there's some people who just trade calendars. There's people, some people who do sell a lot of premium. So I want to be able to continue to provide examples in real life situations, which is the only way you can really do that is to trade it. But yeah, you're, you're, that's a little, it's a little different for you. Yeah. Because of trade alerts and things. <clears throat> My power hour, looking for 550 is currently trading about six bucks, so another 50 cents. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. Sitting pretty close to pin, though. Scott B., what are you? What are you saying? What back tester burned you? Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with that. Is that was that futures trading? All right, so I got my six seven and my five seven posted in the calendar channel. We do have, I'd noticed uh Jerome is speaking 2 30 p.m. on Sunday. It's showing medium impact. I guess they just put it in there because he's speaking, but due to deliver a commencement speech at Georgetown Law commencement ceremony. So doesn't seem like that would be market moving, but who knows? Well, keep in mind, Scott B., I mean, you can run an 80 to 90 percent 
win rate back test on option omega and then real life trading may not be the same so you know there's 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 something to understanding how it trades in real life versus the back test because there's just certain things back testing can't simulate which is why you always have to trade small work out the nuances before you just accept it as not and not to mention just because it back tests one way doesn't mean it's going to perform like that in the future There goes little Mr. SPX. He just wants to keep climbing. Highs of day were about 5305. We're at 5301. About 25 cents away from my profit target. Pick up my new monitor tomorrow. Getting a new battle station put in? 49 inches, that 49 incher. 49 it's four feet. incher. Yeah, it's uh man. Is that like a uh, curved screen. Yeah, it's the one that my brother got. He bought it for 1300 at Nebraska Furniture Mart, and I found it for $799.99 at Best Buy. Nice. So I'll take two of my monitors out and get it out of here. And it'll just, that'll be cleaner for one of my stations. I have, I have two stations, my laptop and then my surface pro and they each have two monitors. You have it. Your surface pro can run two different monitors. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah I've got my powerful. Alienware PC running four monitors and then I've got my Mac desktop which is just, it's just its own own monitor. Yep. Discount, yeah. double check. It's the, uh, it's a Samsung. I was like, do I really need five monitors? And now I'm like, I could really use a couple more to be honest. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice. You can really like break it down into three or four. They've actually increased it by a hundred bucks. So it's 89.99, still cheaper than 1300 like my brother paid. That Best Buy closed over by my house. Really? The one over in Tiffany. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the one in Liberty still. Yeah, that's it right there. Nice. And so, they, yeah, so just splitting that in two or three screens is what I'm going to do. It's still a darn good price, 900 bucks. I called Nebraska Furniture Mart and said, hey, uh, if I come out there and pick up this one, I, I found it for 800 at Best Buy, and they looked it up, and, and they have matched everything that I've ever found. And he's like, I got to talk to a manager. Like, that's a ridiculous price. And they said, well, we can't match that. That's less than what we get it for. Hmm. I was like, all right, I'll order it from... Best Buy and wait a week for it to come in. Nice discount. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's a clean look right there. Discount. Starbucks is a nice touch, but you got to pour that into Trade, ha trade Hacker mug.
Yeah, I'm looking for a cleaner look like that on, on one side of my desk. Man, I was 25 cents away. Yeah, just need a little couple couple point drop. Just a little couple, just a little tiny red candle. Just one. I wonder if it'll get up to 5303 highs of day and then get rejected. I guess highs of day were 5305. Yeah. But it got rejected once at about 5303. Yeah, I'm sure the Wuga needs a pullback for sure. Quad 40 could use it as well. Discount is that that is that the monitor that I shared? Or is that a different one? Okay, so you've got that one. All right. I'm not familiar with that discount magnet. Huh. What does that create? A Windows like environment? There you go, Neil. All the battle stations getting broken out today. I like it. Oh, wow. The Neil, yeah. Good looking set up there, too. So you got, yeah, you got, it looks like you got a Mac and a PC, too, or you got two different keyboards. Oh, two PCs. PCs. Yeah, my next my next purchase is going to be the most powerful PC they have, <laughs> Eli. I really like the Alienware by Dell. So yeah, so what what what's what's some of the better Alienware? Yeah, here's what I would do. I would go to Trade Plans and check out Dick K's Trade Plan. Okay. He 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 breaks down all the uh, details of the equipment that you that you want. He, he kind of helped me. Okay, cool. So with VIX so low, does it keep prerequisites for trades from being worth taking? Uh, not really, Scott B. I mean, one of my main filters is the overnight VIX movement for taking trades in the morning, but VIX level isn't really a factor now. It, now it is on th there. I also have VIX level as a filter on certain trades. Like I have a one DTE trade that I'll take differently if it if VIX is over eighteen and differently if it's under eighteen. So there there are a couple in my trade plan that use VIX levels, but for the most part, it's just more about overnight movement. Getting close. 565. I'm looking for 550. Yeah, I'm almost there.
570. Yeah, pop back up. Yep. I just posted my three six. Five cents away. There it is, 20%. I have not hit yet. No, oh, partial. There we go. Now filled. There we go. Filled at 550. That makes me feel better. Even though I only did six contracts. Like hedging, hedging what discount? Like hedging your zero DTE stuff or, or long, longer term? You've got the bunker. Of course, you got to, you know, it's got to be a, it's got to be a good, uh, you got to have good timing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just, I just don't do a lot of hedging. I've just found position sizing smaller for me. I like better than hedging. What's everybody's break even for the Wooga? What are we what are we needing? Fifty three ninety nine. Yeah, it could come down that far easy. <clears throat> Right. I could see a big fallout in the last about 245 Central. I need 415 is my next target. Looks like about a two and a half dollar credit on the four or five double diagonal.
build at 235. I just got the three five and the three seven left. At the money butterflies about a buck sixty. Still think there's a bit I still think there's gonna be a good push down coming. Yeah, going back up. Three o two. Sure didn't think it would Three finish up here. Yeah, What's I that? Didn't think, I sure didn't think it would finish the way it was acting about an hour and a half ago. I didn't think it would finish up here. That's usually the way it is. Whatever you think is going to happen doesn't. I still need about a buck. All right, I'm going to get my three seven for strikes. So I'm done with calendars. Quad 40 needs a little down move below 5,300. I think it's coming. I think the VIX will finish above 12. That'll be my bet. I was betting, man. 20 minutes to go. Oh, 
most likely be out of my straddle here. 245 central. I've just experienced too many profits being evaporated in the last 10 to 15 minutes when I do straddles. Man, it's holding. Seventy cents. Yep, I'm looking for four ten. It's at four sixty five. That sounds like a lot of stuff I wouldn't understand how to do, Anil. <laughs> Might have to have a, you over. A fix mini me, PC. Fix me up. Yeah, I don't have a gaming PC. I just have the gaming. I'm just getting that gaming monitor. The, uh, uh, the Alienware stuff. is a kind of known for being a gaming computer. Is it? And that just means that it's speed, you know, high High processor, high, high processing speeds. That's what I want. When I'm looking at this that Anil posted. It's like you just plug it into, into your monitor. Is that what you do or what? Scott B, um, there's definitely a noticeable difference with Schwab fills, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it has to do with their servers or not, but up for dollar once this market's a plung. Okay. And then you have a wireless mouse probably. Well that's interesting because that's cheaper than a that's actually cheaper than if I went and bought a brand new PC. I mean, a new PC would be like two or three thousand. Oh, okay. Because hey, that's seven oh nine. That's not bad at all. You know, paid eight hundred for that monitor for fifteen hundred bucks. Forty nine inch monitor, and there's a fill. There's 40%. I wasn't even paying attention. 
Mine's close. Let's look into that. Thanks for sharing, Anil. There's my 40%. So, um, who asked that? Uh, e. Allison. Yeah, so I, I'll take those off at 30% if I hit it quickly, but after we had to adjust... I'm now I'm going for my normal 50% of mat, of initial credit. So after the roll, we're not, not quite there. We'll get hit 50%. All right. Magic Mahomes already filled. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and get out of my uh, straddle. I'm going to stay in it. I have one contract left and it's sitting at pin. So I'll ride with this one contract. All right, put 40%. Madam, did you get filled on the puts or calls? Oh, never mind. I got filled on the puts. Told you this sucker was coming down. Feels good when you have 12 minutes for price to move five minutes. Yeah, what's the DP port? I haven't used one of those before. I noticed that one I'm getting has a DP port. Display port. Quad 40 just turned green again. You could use some more down movement. Yeah, but it, it, it acts like an HDMI, right, Neil? I mean, when it doesn't it just act like an HDMI? One billion buy side is the MOC.
So I'll take my quad 40 off here in about four minutes. Price is bouncing back up above 01. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close my straddle. What did you get for it? Uh, I still got one contract left. It's setting at 350. I can take it off now. Let's see if I can fill it for 345. Yeah, let's push up. Yep, filled at 335 to close out. So a little more than 40%, probably 50%. Thirteen twenty-five winner. I was even going to do it. Good things happen when you take action, Chad. I know. You can't win if you don't throw your hat in the ring, right? That's right. All right. Trades are one, two, three, four, six, eight. No power hour trades this, this week. All right, 19 trades, 18 winners, one loser, 95%. Nice. It's been a while since I could say that. Five thousand two hundred ninety for the day. Seven minutes need a way a move away from fifty three hundred. I was hoping it was going to be to the downside, but. Well, I'm four thousand dollars away from my May. I'm sorry, my April total with ten trading days left. Ooh, forty-five thousand one hundred ninety so far in May. Nineteen thousand two hundred eighty-one for the week. That doesn't count my one DTEs. So those were very successful. So it looks like my quad forty is going to be scratch or maybe a tiny loser. Unless this thing drops a few points. But it is exit time. Build at 1340. So in, let's see what I get in at, in at 13, 12, yeah, so I lost 15 cents. I don't mind a 5,300 pin. I just would like it to move five points before it does that.
All right, I'm going to get on the road so I can get Stone to his speed training on time. All righty. Have a good weekend. All right. See everybody next week. Three and a half minutes. It's going to have to be another last minute heroics from Mahomes, madam. It's hanging around 5,300. Yeah, Jay Russell, I've got a bunch of stuff together already. And we'll probably just be doing multiple kind of live sessions to go over some different different transformer strategies. All right, minute and a half. Russell and NASDAQ a little bit red, Dow and S&P a little bit green. Less than a minute. See if we get a last minute push to new highs of day. Oh, three. Need one more push up. Ooh, nice little markup. 5303.38, which makes the uh, homes a little bit profitable on a 20 lot. It's like I'll make about settle, wherever it settles, about seven, a little over 700. No vertical fills, but profitable. All right, my friends, good week of trading. Next week, let's see, on Monday, Chad will be live at the Open doing the Mighty 90 and Runners, and then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, everyone, have a fantastic weekend. Talk to you soon.